Hello everybody, it's me, your favorite Giraffe Factory, and I'm back with some more Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate with Marsh! And we're playing some more Guildhall mode, and, uh, alright, I'm done talking like that. The, yeah. the monster on the menu today is Zinogre. Hi. Let's talk to the low quest of tricks, and go to Tough Turf. Heaven's Mount, hunt a Zinogre. Let's do this. I love fighting Zinogres. Zinogre is possibly one of my favorite monsters. Just also, in the entire series. He just has amazing music. His music is beautiful. His music is my favorite theme. Alright, Bombardier. So I'm eating for Bombardier today. Uh, because Bombardier increases the damage of Gunlance ammo. And I just want to stack that up because I've already got artillery. Oh, I'm out of potions? What? Maybe you just have three stacks? No, no, no. I was actually out of Mega Potions. I didn't do a marsh. I think that's just called being amazing. Do everything <laughs> all the time. <laughs> don't, I don't think you want to admit to that on the internet, that you didn't do that. If you say so. That's, I mean, that's one way to think about it. It's the only way. It's the only way. All right, I'm gonna scumbag these paintballs. <laughs> Flash bomb, let's go. Took one of those paintballs right out from under me. <laughs> All right, so going around uh, this path, I don't know if it's actually faster or not because I was playing with a friend of mine who got there sooner than I did by going the other way around. But this way, you get to get up on top of this ledge and potentially jump on the Zenogre. Which is why I go this way. Oh, but he was over there today. Darn. He can either wander that way or towards the, uh, towards the little plateau there. Oh, he headbutt me. Oh, he moved right as I came up Such a waste. What a waste. No, no, don't move. Yes. Oh, that was sick. Oh, man. Going for an early wyvern fire is uh, a really good idea. Um, I could have done it when he saw us the first time. But since I have uh, since I have artillery god, I mean, our expert, right? Uh, since I have any level of artillery, basically. Um, going for wyvern fire early is a good idea because you will uh, you'll recharge your Wyvern Fire pretty soon uh, and your Wyvern Fire does extra damage. Uh, what I forgot to mention last time was that artillery actually decreases the time it takes for your Wyvern Fire to recharge as well. Ha! <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> I'm using the tip you gave me last time uh, after we finished the quest for doing the shield rush easier. You mean the lance charge? Ah, we were talking about different things. Oh. What What were you try having trouble with? I was having uh, trouble with both of them, I guess, because I was having bad inputs on it and doing the uh, sweep instead, but I just looked at the notes again and so I'm doing it the uh, alternative way by just using forward and X and R. What's the what's the other way to do the shield rush? I've never heard of another way to do that. There's a page in there where it says something about hitting X and A. Maybe that's the lance charge. <laughs> that's the lance charge. <laughs> I don't know. I look at those notes and then immediately forget them. Because <laughs> you were telling me that. So, so last time you told me you were having trouble doing the lance charge, and that you were hitting R and X and A to try to do it, and you only did it like once. Yeah. Right. And now you're telling me that you were actually trying to do the shield rush the whole time? No, I was trying to do the lance charge and just confuse myself. Okay. Just checking. What I was trying to do was get closer to the monster faster. Either of those accomplishes that goal. Indeed. So, the shield rush is easier to do. 
Shield Rush is better in short distances anyway. Just in general. It's it's nicer to... Uh... Oh, I missed. It's a nicer short range uh, gap closer because you... Uh... Oh no, this is bad. Oh, you missed. Nice. Okay. Oh, wow. You're bad at this game. Um, it's a nicer short range distance closer because, first of all, you can't throw your friends with it. Second of oh, sorry. Speaking of throwing <laughs> friends, and uh, second of all, the um, uh, oh, come on, get a little bit closer. We can get a mount here. Uh, and second of all, you are much more safe during it. Um, and unless the monster is down, you're going to want to use that attack anyway. Um, because the Lance Charge isn't going to help you very much, unless you're trying to mount. Trying to... chasing the monster with the uh, Lance Rush, like the Lance Charge, um, is a good idea if you're trying to mount, and like there's no one in your way that you're going to knock down. You can rush, and then... Uh, and jump into the attempted mount. Like I said before, guys, I haven't put a lot of hours in the lance. I'm just good enough to get by. <laughs> but I'm trying to get better at it, so that's why I'm using it again. Can't get better at it if you give up. <sighs> oh. oh, no. This is a rude dude. I don't appreciate your demeanor, Zenogre. Yeah, he slapped me down when I was trying to get a heal. But, you know, that is his job. There we go, knock him out of rage. Stay right here. Stay right here. Yes. Boom. Free shiny. Live into here. Still worth it. Yes, just come straight into the zone where I am. Come closer to this ledge. Oh yeah, get mounted. Do it. Do it. It's just charging on the other side of the mount. Oh, no, I got it. You okay. got him. I thought he was going to be turned around in the air instead. Get him. So, um, I wanted to take this moment to point out that uh, I think that Zenogre is a lot tougher online than he is offline. Because he, uh, he actually changes the person he's looking at all the time. And that ends up uh, seeding a lot of confusion in the group. And, and, and like people run away and things like that when they really shouldn't. Um, because he hacked. He, oh no, Fleur just laid his shock trap. That's dumb. <laughs> uh, and there it goes. <laughs> uh, but because it's a little bit tougher to tell where he's looking, uh, a lot of people end up fainting because they just don't understand what he's trying to do. Um, which is really frustrating when you're trying to like farm them online sometimes because just not everybody's prepared to fight the online version of Zenogre. It's a very different fight, so be prepared for that. Wow. Nice charge, bro. Yep. <laughs> I was in the, uh, when he charged up and he did his, um, AOE attack. Uh-huh. I was actually in exactly the right spot to not get hit by that. Boom! And I just kept stabbing him. I've had some decently well-placed, uh, Wyvern fires today. I'm on my game. Just broke the horns during a charge. Lack of balls.
Zenogre is weak to dragon, by the way. So uh, our elemental setup is pretty strong in this quest. Yes, he is tired. Get tripped. Let's see if we can get that tail. I've been hitting it every once in a while, so I've mostly been trying to just be effective with Lance. Yeah, I'm mostly uh, I'm mostly going for DPS, trying to shell a lot because I've got an artillery set up here. Really? That soon? I'm impressed. Oh, come on. Are you serious? I just missed that. I like when you're hitting the monster somehow. I die. But it doesn't. You're not really sure how. Ugh. Okay, I didn't get punished for my greedy, greedy attacks. Damn it. And then invisible walls got me. Hey, you're not dead yet. Not yet. Get over. See you later. Dead. I'm gonna go heal. I said, look at me. Don't wreck me. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh, How you doing? With you. Oh, come on. I just healed that HP, bro. He's so rude. Oh, nice. Enter the zone. Get close. Get with that. <laughs> Dang it, man. Oh, miss. You have a pitfall trap by chance? Forgot to make traps before this. <laughs> I forgot to think. Alright, I'm getting sick of this. We need a mount. Or just die. Or just kill him. That's fine. I knew he had to be close. I mean, we were doing pretty well. We were hitting him really hard and constantly. Sub 15 again. Still good for two person. No tail, though. Yeah. A little sad. A little sad. Well, I think we broke everything else. Did we break the back? Mm -hmm. Ugh, camera. Yes. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Eh, everything but the tail. It's not terrible. It's not tailable. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not <laughs> sorry at all. <laughs> and that is how to crush a Zen Ogre with two with the two lance types okay I see now what I was confused about in the hunter's note I read that dash attack stream and I thought that was the lance charge um that is the lance charge that's what I was doing but I was doing a shield rush right you, it's, it's really sensitive so the so the uh, the lance attack the lance dash attack is uh, is really sensitive in this one to you needing to hit X and A at the same time if you're holding R to do that. But the easy way to perform it is to just tap the kick button while you have your weapon out. This is a big Zenogre. Also, that was like 11 minutes and something. You wrecked that dude. Yeah, that was a good one. Okay, well, since we did... Uh, since we wrecked that guy so quick, I think we can probably fit in a little Celtus Queen action. What do you think? I think we can. Let's do it. 
Why does that work, tapping the kick button? That doesn't seem like it would make any sense. Tapping the kick button performs whatever your special attack is with your weapon. How come it doesn't tell you that in any of the Hunter's Notes? I don't know. I've never read the Hunter's Notes. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Can't tell you. <laughs> Kids, read your Hunter's Notes. But apparently, uh, don't listen to them. Yeah. They're not everything, but you should read them. I had a pitfall trap the whole time? Haha. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, I didn't need it, clearly. So up next is a Celtus Queen, and this is actually our last key for three star. And then we just have an urgent quest. But Celtus Queen, um, Celtus Queen is uh, does not actually take any dragon damage. So we'll see how this goes. And she is. Kind of, she, she has a lot more health than uh, some other monsters in this category. Um, she's kind of on par with Gravios, in my opinion. But she's not nearly as annoying as Gravios. So, it should be fine. Oh, forgot my free map. Souvenir. Except you can't keep it. Aw. That's just rude. Give me a map of the, of the playland, and then don't let me take it home. How will I ever remember what the Heaven's Mount looks like? I can't afford to go on a vacation every other day. Yes, you can. It's called a harvest tour. Oh, you're right. Never mind. <laughs> Ugh. 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 I'm in. I'm in her butt. <laughs> if, oh, bite fine. a nickel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. Good times. Come on, Sir Hunter. Oh, where's the little one? I don't guess she's called him yet. He usually starts here. I thought he did. Oh, uh, well, wait, maybe not in low rank. I guess she's going to get him. I, yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs> she's like, guys, guys, I gotta run. <laughs> oh, hey, what you doing? No idea how weak the self is to dragon. She does not take dragon damage. I just said that. I was not listening. <laughs> there he is. Boom. So, since she doesn't take dragon damage, I'm mostly going to be going for shelling damage on this fight, because my uh, my dragon is just not going to do much on this weapon in this fight. And uh, since this weapon is primarily a, a dragon damage weapon with kind of raw on the side, uh, I'm going to have to rely on aggressive shelling instead. Oh, couldn't dodge out of the way of that. I like her charge attack. It's like a bear off throwback. Yeah, it does look like the bear off. Because she lowers her head and everything. It's great. <laughs> and it's like the uh, jade bear off because she does a U with it. Yeah, she can turn it. It's pretty cool. First jade, jade bear off I ever fought. Or ice bear off, whatever you want to call it. It's a jade bear off? Um, did not expect that it could turn that around. Blew my mind. <laughs> So, in the online mode, Celtus Queen is a little bit easier than the offline mode, in my opinion, because you can, uh, because you can kind of get get uh, one group of hunters or even just one hunter in the group to attack the small one and go kill the small one, which opens up the uh, the big one to more combos. Okay, I'm riding the small one, apparently. Uh -huh. What? 
I think I accidentally hit the tip what? of its head while I was trying to attack the Celtus. Why queen. would you attack there? I didn't <laughs> see that you were that close to me. It wasn't even close to the queen. <laughs> I was jumping off the ledge to go towards the queen. Apparently I hit the Celtus. Oh, oh, come on. I've been thrown off twice now. <laughs> Hey, 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 where are you going? Where are you going? That's what I thought. I'm riding. Don't hit it. <laughs> I'm attacking the Celtus. Well, the Celtus just, just try not to attack it from across the map. I can't make any promises. <laughs> I'm going for it. Boom. Oh, what? I'm pinned. Oh, I didn't even know the Celtus had a pin. I've never seen that. That's awesome. It's also a pushover to get out of, but it does leave your camera all crazy. Ow. I was, a, I was attacking her, thinking, after I finish this combo, I'll get out of Dung Bomb. And then I staggered her. Oh, I was pinned by the small one. By the little one? Really? That's why I was confused. I've never seen him pin anything. That's right. Like, I've never seen it. That was the first time. Hey, you broke the little mouth guards. Oh, boy. You've broken almost everything. I think I think her back legs are unbroken. I think one of her back legs is unbroken. And have we broken the tail yet? I don't think so. One back leg and a tail, I think, is what's left. Ah, thank you. What's going on here? What's going on? What are you doing? Oh, you're just yelling. Oh god. No, no, you were charging at me. Hi! Yeah, tail is unbroken. Uh, someone in the comments of another video brought up a good point um, that I haven't really explained. Um, the, and they asked, uh, how are you getting these armor sets before you complete these key quests? Um, because obviously I'm wearing the Celtus armor right now, and we haven't done this key yet. And the answer is, this is the same character from my offline LP, so I have access to the majority of the monsters in my offline mode. Um, but, uh... You have access to any of the monsters in every category, uh, or, no, yeah, that's true. Once you get to a category, you have access to every single monster in that category. Uh, it's just that if you don't have the quest, someone else has to post it for you, so if you're playing online, it's still not a big deal. Uh, the, ooh, factory just set a trap. Somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, it's over here, it's way back here. I'm blind, I can't see. Oh, there it is. Wow. <laughs> it is so small. I feel that way all the time. And Fleur set a trap. Poor guy. Okay, thanks. The flying rush that you never do. Um, and now they're just flying because there's traps everywhere. <laughs> um, there oh, there it we is. go. Uh, but I, but I figure, um, using, using armor sets that are just inside of Aw, they're just in this rank. Uh, is was my goal. It's not. It's not uh, whether or not you would have it to start the rank necessarily. It's just uh, things to work towards. They're recommendations more than they are um, guides on how to beat this rank. Get wrecked, Celtus. You're terrible. Damn it! I'm getting comboed by these things. Yeah, and we also have been making sets that people don't normally make. Um, just as a point that you can really make anything you want and still succeed. Yeah. Like, I don't usually see a lot of people making Celtus stuff. Um, or playing Gunlance, for that matter. In the online mode, and especially in, uh, especially in low rank. So I wanted to show that Gunlance is good. And the Celtus armor is actually a pretty good armor set for low rank. Kill this little one. 
because he's bothering me. I see people try out new weapons and then immediately give up on it, which is why I've been trying to use all the weapons regardless of how amazing I am at them. Because, you know, if you give up on it, you're never going to get better. That's right. If you try out a weapon and, and you say, well, I do better with my main, with my greatsword that I've got 30 hours in, well, of course you do. <laughs> uh, ah, kill the little one. Uh, of course you do, because you've practiced that one. So if you only give it, if you only give it a couple of minutes to try to be good, then it's never going to live up to your expectations. It, this is a this is a very large and dynamic game, and you should try out every weapon and give it a fair chance. As long as you can do anything at all. If it really doesn't make sense to you, maybe pick it back up another time. All right, so she's limping. He's dead. Let's Pretty good get, day. Let's finish this. Finish her. <laughs> Grab that pitfall trap I didn't realize I had. Let's do this. Oh, don't hit me. Don't hit me now. Alright, now you can hit me. Oh, She's just like, I'm tired, guys. I don't wanna. <laughs> I don't wanna get in that. It does not look fun. All right, fine. Just casually walk into the trap. <laughs> we, we both did our our charge up attack at the same time. Um, that attack that you just did was a counter, and it does it. It's uh, it's a little bit slow to do damage compared to just comboing. Uh, you, you would you would do you would do a little bit more damage if you just kept on comboing and hopping backwards. Huh, that's interesting. Uh, the it's it's good because it charges up and deals good damage, um, depending on the part of the animation you're in. Uh, but if you just charge it up and let it release, because you you can't set it off on your own, you have to let the monster set it off by hitting your shield. Um, so it just takes a really long time to actually go off. And so, just comboing does more damage in that in that time frame. Is she coming here? Did she go this way? It's weird. She did. Maybe she went. No, no, she's, no, she's here. here. She's just slow. She's tired. Okay. <laughs> she's cranky. She's tired. You know what? Walking into walls. I'm just I'm gonna show a little respect and cap her. Go to sleep. Shh. Shh. <laughs> sleep well. Also get teabagged. <laughs> it's just like college. <laughs> and that is how you kill a Celtus Queen while wearing her grandma. It is one of our favorite things to wear the monster we're hunting. Because honestly. Honestly. What else are you playing this game for? Wow. The rewards I got. So many yeah. rewards. 1140 again. Nice. I've gotten longer times with four-person groups. <laughs> this is why I prefer two, two people groups. All right, guys, that has opened up some dialogues over here, but we're going to see what they're all about next time. And until then, hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.